While the guys make their modifications, Carrie is creating some feet. Adam already has made a mold for our steel cap boot experiment in the past, and I'm going to use this because it makes a great skeleton foot. The skeleton is made from a mix of urethane and fiberglass that dries to a realistic bone-like texture. Oh, that's a good mold Adam made here. This one fits into here. This one. Then they're encased in a foot-shaped mold of ballistics gelatin. Nice. Her feet are definitely suffering from fallen arches, but they'll do just fine. Okay, just go stick these in the fridge till we use them. Now, because we're all dog lovers here at Mythbusters, to test the turkeys falling on small pets myth, Carrie is making fake pooches. She covers canine replica skeletons in ballistics medium. This is definitely not a breed recommended for families with small children. This is not a normal family Christmas for me because dogs in my family are very cute and snuggly. They're, they're neither drippy nor frightening. To up the realism, professional still life model Gertrude is helping out. I'm trying to figure out exactly how the hindquarters look on a dog. And uh, Gertrude's modeling for me because she's almost the same dog. Maybe not quite the same. She adds some bulging eyeballs. Yeah, um, this really doesn't have anything to do with the myth, but um, it's a flesh-eating zombie dog, um, so it, it needs some flesh-eating zombie googly eyes. <laughs> so I started out making a dog. I love it. Nice doggy. Grant, you might want to sleep with one eye open tonight. Oh, you said you could puppy. Mwah. Carrie, you don't want to get too attached. Over at M5, it's going to be a gas. Jamie and Adam are finally ready to activate their Rube Goldberg machine, a 100-foot-long holiday miracle with 60 moving parts. Just to make the point, I wouldn't even walk fast near a lot of the stuff, so nobody breathe on this one, all right? I can see you're really getting into the zen of this thing. I'm thinking about it with everything I see these days. Well, it's time to do it. We're all done. It's the moment of truth. Let's go do it. Okay. It's the moment of truth, but how's it all going to work? Pay close attention because here's exactly what's going to happen. At the top of this cone are 10 bottles of cola. At a prescribed moment, Jamie will yank on this string, releasing a mento into each of those 10 bottles, which will then spray cola down into this funnel, down into this tube, up to this pair of wires, which will make an electrical contact, which will release this motor Sending this bowling ball spinning, 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 down. It'll stop, but the bowling ball will keep on spinning, release itself from the screw, fall down, hit all 10 Santa bowling pins, which will yank on the string, send the skiers down. The skiers going down will yank on this magnet, which will release this soda bottle, sending the party favor going bop, 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 going like this, boom, releasing this mento, tick, 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 all the way down into the basket, releasing this mento, tick, 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 all the way down into this basket. This ball will go down here, tunk, tunk. Dunk, release the train, woo hoo, all the way around, all the way around into the present, boom, the present closes, releases a mento into this bottle of soda, sending this robot, pushing the candle under the string, the candle will burn through the string, the string will release the hammer, hammer will hit the stove, the stove, which has roast in it, will release its roast onto this seesaw, onto the dinosaur platform, jiggling this thing, releasing the uh, two little doodads here, which will send this seesaw going this way, releasing a ball into this robot, turning him on. This robot will find his way eventually to this hand, which will boom, Turn this switch on, sending the Jacob flatter like Frankenstein's monster. That will set off this fuse. Boom! Setting the cannon off. The cannon will release the pirate's hat. The pirate's hat will turn on the monkeys. The monkeys will go down the ramp, releasing the nut from this nutcracker's mouth, which I just did. Releasing another mento into this bottle of soda, sending this thing spinning, pulling a string out, which lets this foot kick the broken crutch here, sending Buster crashing into the ground. And that's what's going to happen. 